include Madison Beer, Shinsia, Saucy, and many more. Today we're going to be doing a style challenge, but before we get started, I wanted to know, Chris, what got you into styling? I've always been really into clothes. When I was little, my mom used to make me and my sister like matching outfits. It's actually really, Same. really, <laughs> really, really embarrassing. I was in retail actually before I started really? for 10 years. Nice. Yeah, it was a really long time. Yeah, my favorite part of the job, like as I grew up, like in management, was always like the interaction with the customer, and like having the customer come in and like tell, telling me like where they were going. How would you describe your personal style? I would describe my personal style very versatile. I like don't really like to like box myself in one. Very, very baggy. Like I love, it. I love like menswear Comfort. stuff. Yeah, like I'm always like you can always find me in the menswear <laughs> section. Always like for my clients like myself. Like I just think menswear pieces are so much cooler. Yeah. Um, especially like for like third layers. What's one piece of advice you would give to an aspiring stylist? <sighs> this job is no joke. Yeah. <laughs> I think that out of I mean, no offense to like hair and makeup artists because y'all do your thing, but I think, <laughs> I think on the glam team, styling is definitely the hardest job. And I think that a lot of the time, like when I get like these young, like aspiring like people, you know, like these kids like reaching out to me, they really just don't understand sometimes like how much work of it goes into styling. You have to do it to like. Yeah, really like and and it honestly, you have to start from the bottom and grow to the top in order to like be able to run your own business. Right on time, when we lay to the party animals. Leaps of faith, Geronimo. Check my watch, tick tick tock. My God. Today's style challenge is called freestyle. I will give Chris a theme, and she'll have 20 minutes to pick out two looks that match that theme. So the theme for today is Coachella. <laughs> Since it's coming up, I thought it would only be right. So are you ready? No. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You didn't see there were any rules, so right. <laughs> I brought my assistant, Melissa. Okay, yeah, I can't, I can't shave me all that. Perfect. She's, she's the best. She's my first assistant on my team. I can't do this job without her. Okay. So, that's, that's very let's, me. Let's, let's, let's get it. We got 20 minutes on the timer. No! No! Oh, this is really overwhelming because H. Lorenzo is like one of the best stores in LA. And they have, the reason why I love shopping here for my clients and just in general, is they have like really young brands and also like really established brands. So I'm very overwhelmed right now. I told Chris I'm looking for something that's experimental, body hugging and like sexy, but still a little modest. And I think she's gonna kill it. I think it's always really good to go with like items that have stretch in it. Well, we love a good glove moment. Everybody knows I love a good glove moment. What's the time on the clock? Uh, 17 minutes. Oh, great. Honestly, it's awesome. This is really hard, by the way. I'm struggling. Love it. It's like very important to like actually look at the clothes. <laughs> I don't like, I don't want to be rushed. Okay, if anybody knows me is I love a good set. This is really cute. Also, I, I really like um, monotone looks. That's really, really nice and pretty. 10 minutes, 25 seconds left. No! I trust you. Don't forget shoes. Oh, yeah. But I mean, realistically, are we gonna, you know, we could just. Sometimes for fashion you have to sacrifice. Yeah, you have to sacrifice. You 
how hard it is going to be walking in the sand. <laughs> like realistic shoes off this. Where's the potato? It's gonna kill it. But time's ticking. But I trust her. Honestly, I'd rather over pull than under pull at this point. <laughs> being a stylist I know how much time and energy it takes to create looks it's not just 20 minutes it's like what how many days Day, months, weeks, weeks. Yeah. yeah so a lot goes in yeah. to like especially Coachella what was the strategy what was the I don't know she has a really great figure Aww. I did mention earlier that I love like a matching set so I got the matching jacket to this um, and I did say that I love a glove, so, and it can get sometimes like, you know, like chilly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I pulled a lot of pieces that had like a lot of stretch just in case, you know, to like sometimes like, I think tailoring is super important, but like sometimes to like minimize like the amount of tailoring, it's always really good to like pick very like stretchy material. I picked a lot of pieces that you can like layer with each other. To me, I would think that I would want to be comfortable at Coachella. For sure. So I would think like, you know, like baggy and comfortable on the bottom. Yeah. And like, you know, like figure hugging up top. Back. So I picked like some really cool pants. Big, I love you them. know, and like. Chris with the Y project. I know, this might I be a little risque, it. but you know. No, this is it. <laughs> I pulled from men's, so it might look a little big, but no, that's it's always it's like, yeah. Tell me how you want me to style this, and then we all think. Should I? Should I? You can find it by Let me, let me, let me go with her. Alright, are you ready? Okay, this is the first look. Alright. Alright. I'm obsessed with it. Yeah, I really like it. I really like, like, all the layering. The shoes, obviously, I don't think that she would be able to wear all day at Coachella, but we're very limited with options. I love that I grabbed this last minute. Was it last minute? Yeah, it was last minute. I didn't even realize. I was like, oh my god, Dion Lee. Love Dion Lee, one of my favorite brands. And I thought this would be like a really nice way to like add some interesting like experimental like detail. Yeah, yeah, she look. killed it. Yeah. I love the corset. I love the marine stair with the mont. Charlotte Knowles. Mm -hmm. Even though it's like black and white, simple colors, the elements to it like are very experimental and that's what I love about it. She could take off this top and just wear like the exactly, bodysuit, yeah. you know? It's very so. versatile. Yellow moment. Uh, I'm obsessed with it. Yay! I really love this Y Project jean. It's like very versatile. You can wear it up. Or you can wear it down, and we thought that it would be really cool, especially for Coachella to wear it down. Yeah. I would get tailored to be tighter because it's a little bit loose on her um, and make it a little cropper, mm -hmm. however she wanted to her liking. But like I said earlier, you know, like I love a really good set, whether it's like a pant, a pant or a top, or a pant and a matching jacket, and then the gloves. The gloves are everything. Oh, and the bag. And the bag, the, the little marine. fluffy bag. I really love playing with textures also too, so. Oh, and we got and the tabbies. And then we got the, the tabbies. Just cause, you know, <laughs> comfortability is key at Coachella. <laughs> and also, <laughs> save, saving yourself from the sun. No paparazzi photos. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Everything. I think it's cool and casual, young, fresh. It's definitely with the Balenciaga vibe. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything is incorporated into this look. We got Blue Marine, which is very, popular right now. We got Vetmont, which obviously if you guys know, Demna, Vetmont, Balenciaga. The gloves are having a moment right now. I love Y Project. Um, and it, it kind of gives me a Western vibe, which I kind of associate with Coachella. And then we got sneakers to be comfortable. So I think with socks. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, these are open. So I think oh, without like, socks okay. would be better. Okay. So we yeah, have that's awesome. amazing. Everything <laughs> is perfect. Um, yeah, I love it. I would probably even put my hair up for this look. 
Okay. Yeah, I think care of. Yeah, for sure. It's giving a lot, and we need to make sure it shows. <laughs> but yeah, so I love it all. So, who would you style in this look? Stassi. Yes. I feel like Stassi would yes. wear a look like this for sure. Yeah, it's like a really sure. sexy, cool girl. Definitely, yeah. Chris came through with the looks. She matched the theme perfectly. And I'm just honestly so mind blown that she was able to do that in 20 minutes. Honestly. Uh, it's no joke, guys. <laughs> it's no joke. So Chris and I were talking in the fitting room. She's helping me with everything, putting it on, making sure it all fits right. And I just like really realized that being a stylist is being there for every moment. It's not just watching your client try on the clothes. It's literally helping them, adjusting them with everything. And I want to like shine a light on stylists who never really know how important a stylist is. You kind of just see the celebrity and you see the look um, at the end, but you really don't know what goes into it. I take pride in research. I think that it's like 85, almost 90 percent of the job. Yeah. I personally like love working with newer, upcoming like younger brands, yeah. you know? Yeah. And I love her brand. Thank you so much for coming out here today. Yeah. I appreciate it so much. And Melissa, so much well, come get in here, please. I like, couldn't do it without her. She's the best. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below which look you guys like the most. And please make sure to follow Chris on Instagram. Her handle is uh, Chris Bay underscore. Somebody and took oh. <laughs> Somebody took my actual name, so I have to add the underscore. Okay, there's another Chris yeah. Bay. Yeah, yeah. Mine's Melissa T E underscore. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you. Woohoo! We're Coachella ready. That was fun. That was fun.